mistrust surfaced this morning in Walton County during discussion about the one cent sales tax referendum. The county commissioners say the money is crucial, but as News 13's Emma Riley tells us, the Walton County Taxpayers Association members say they're opposing the tax due in part to trust issues. Walton County is growing and county commissioners say they need more money to keep up with that growth. They're asking voters to approve a one cent sales tax to be collected for the next 30 years. They say the money would go towards infrastructure projects. Many believe that means road construction and improvements. But the Walton County Taxpayers Association President Jim Bagby wants assurances. We don't know what they're going to do with it because they say, well, it's for infrastructure projects. Well, one of the biggest infrastructure projects they've done in the last few years is the golf course up into Funiac Springs. We, we want to see roads, we want to see bridges, we want to see bandwidth, you know, internet speeds throughout the county. We want to see those type of things, not golf courses or marinas or things like that. Bagby says his group is opposing the referendum for several reasons. He says the county has refused to raise or implement the mobility fee, placing the burden on developers. There's a lot of distrust uh, for the county commissioners in this county, both among taxpayers, among voters. And so all the Taxpayer Association has asked for is don't make it for 30 years. You know, they, they were required by the state to do a state audit. That audit is horrible. Uh, they have problems running projects, managing projects, finishing projects. And so all the people are asking for is show us that you can do what you say you can do with the money that's given to you. He's also against collecting a tax for 30 years. But Commissioner Danny Gladwell says the need is real. While the county has $25 million in unrestricted reserves, Gladwell claims the county also has $44 million worth of projects without enough funding. He suggested a resolution to the board. Forego bond financing for five years, uh, just as an agreement amongst the board, and uh, not to do any kind of financing until um, we take it back to the voters for uh, further approval. In Freeport, Emma Riley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. A referendum will be decided on the November 8th ballot. When it comes to that,